Hi. Welcome to J6 Chemistry Channel. Today we will discuss on how to perform calibration of volumetric glasswares. There are five easy steps on how to calibrate a volumetric glassware. We will see the process both for volumetric flask and volumetric pipette. For the volumetric flask, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Accurately weigh a dried volumetric flask to be calibrated in an analytical balance. Record this as initial reading in a log sheet. Step 2. Fill the flask with distilled purified or sterile water which has its temperature equilibrated or stabilized. Then weigh the water-filled flask in an analytical balance. Record this as the final reading in a log sheet. Let's have an example. There is 100 ml volumetric flask to be calibrated. The mass of empty vol flask is 98.5954 grams. When the water was filled, the flask was again weighed with a mass of 198.2268 grams. Step 3. Get the differences between the initial and the final reading for the volumetric flask and record the computed value. Also, record the temperature of the distilled purified water used. You can see in the example that getting the differences between initial and final reading will give a computed mass of water to be 99.6314 grams. The recorded temperature of water is 28 degrees Celsius. Step 4. The actual volume of water contained by the volumetric flasks can now be computed by using the derivation of the formula for density. Volume is equal to the computed mass or weight of water contained in the glassware divided by the density of water at a specified temperature. Since the recorded temperature of water is 28 degrees Celsius, it has a corresponding density of 0.9962 grams per ml. Thus, 99.6314 grams divided by 0.9962 grams per ml would give 100.0114 ml, which is the volume of water contained in the volumetric flask. Step 5. The density of water per corresponding temperature can be found on reference guides of chemistry or physics textbooks. Correction factor can now be computed by getting the difference between volume calculated and the volume capacity. In the example, the volume capacity of glassware, which can be found on the label is 100.00 ml. Correction factor is equal to 100.0114 ml minus 100.00 ml. Thus, the computed value for correction factor is plus 0.01 plus minus 0.08 ml, rounded to correct uncertainty in significant figures. Let us now go to the calibration of a volumetric pipette. Step 1. Prepare a dried beaker or a volumetric flask and weigh it using analytical balance. Record this as initial reading in a log sheet. Step 2. Transfer a fixed volume of temperature equilibrated water depending on volume capacity of the pipette or burette onto the dried beaker or volumetric flask. For instance, transfer 10 ml of water when using a 10 ml volumetric pipette onto the beaker. Record the mass of container with the water transferred. Record this as final reading in a log sheet. As an example, there is 10 ml volumetric pipette to be calibrated. The mass of empty container is 98.5954 grams. When the water was transferred onto the container, 
it now weighs a mass of 108.5475 grams. Step 3. Get the differences between the initial and the final reading for the container with water and record the computed value. Also, record the temperature of the distilled or purified water used. You can see in the example that getting the differences between initial and final reading will give a computed mass of water to be 9.9521 grams. The recorded temperature of water is 28 degrees centigrade. Step 4. The actual volume of water transferred by the pipette can now be computed by using the derivation of the formula for density. Volume is equal to the computed mass or weight of water transferred by the glassware divided by the density of water at the specified temperature. Since the recorded temperature of water is 28 degrees centigrade and it has a corresponding density of 0.9962 grams per ml, thus 9.9521 grams divided by 0.9962 grams per ml would give 9.9901 ml which is the volume of water transferred by the volumetric pipette. Step 5. The density of water per corresponding temperature can be found on reference guides of chemistry or physics textbooks. Correction factor can now be computed by getting the difference between volume calculated and the volume capacity. In the example, the volume capacity of glassware, which can be found on the label is 10.00 ml. Correction factor is equal to 9.9901 ml minus 10.00 ml. Thus, the computed value for correction factor is negative 0.01 plus minus 0.02 ml, rounded to correct uncertainty and significant figures. Thank you very much for listening, please don't forget to like and subscribe on J6 Chemistry channel, always keep safe.